day in school I did two things. I did some workbooks and I explored four activity books that Daddy bought to me. Today I learned about action verbs. Action verbs are things that we do with our body. I mean words that describe what we do. For example, sitting, flying, taking, chirping, eating, building, walking and picking. But other verbs, for example, thinking, feeling and imagining are not action verbs. They only happen in our heads. So, all these questions were really easy, except for this last question. That question is hard, was hard because I couldn't think of a word to put in, to write in this blank space. So I asked mummy and daddy for help. I suggested that I write saw and found, but daddy said that saw and found, we don't really do those things, they only happen. Then I asked mummy. Mummy suggested that I write, that I just write was and found, but then I explained to mummy that was and found aren't really action verbs. We don't really do them, they just happen, like a result. Then I tried to think of other action verbs. Then I came up with the action verb put. So I wrote put in the blank space and that makes sense. Hazel put her chook in the hen house. Learned about subtraction. I mean practiced because I already learned how to subtract. I know it is subtraction because of the subtraction sign. Doing the subtraction is was really easy. So here I subtracted single digit numbers. Five is the amount and underneath two is the amount I am go I was going I subtracted from five. The strategy, the strategy I used is fact families, three, two and five. So five minus two equals three. Three is the answer to five minus two. And here I subtracted single digit num a single digit number by a double digit number. The strategy I used was is was to start from the tens and then the ones. I mean start from the ones and then the tens. But with the ones I used fact families, two, two and four, so four minus two equals two. Then I did the one, then I did the tens. And down here, I used the same strategy. I started from the ones and then 
I did the tens. So 18 is the amount and 5 is the amount I am subtracting from 18. At first, with the ones, I didn't know what 8 minus 5 is, was, but I remembered 8 minus 4 equals 4. So if it's 8 minus 5, the answer would be would just be one less. So eight minus five equals three. Then I did the ones, which was super easy because one minus zero, there's nothing here, equals one. So the answer to eighteen minus five is thirteen. On the weekend Daddy bought me these four activity books. The first one is the Book of Prehistoric Beasts. There are some dinosaurs I know in here and some prehistoric creatures. For example, this one is the This one is the Smilodon, and over here is the Stegosaurus. So, today, I read some of this book, and it was really exciting. And, Daddy also brought me some sticker mo mosaics. And I completed the unicorn. It was a lot of fun. And also, a lot of stickers to stick. And Daddy brought, bought me Where's the Unicorn activity book. I coloured in a picture well only part of the picture and i think i am going to do another part of it tomorrow and scratch scratch surprise daddy also brought me a scratch su surprise it and it has a scratching tool. And I finished scratching a whole picture. So you have to scratch the black paint off. And this is the finished picture. It is so pretty. And at the back of this book, it shows how to make your my own scratch paper. So I just need colours and then cover the craft paper in bright colours and then just paint over the page with black acrylic paint and let the paper dry. And then you can cut it out and draw. See? Those are what the four books Daddy bought me are about. It was so exciting. Well, that was my school for today. And I didn't really enjoy doing my workbooks that much. But it was okay. And exploring those four new books daddy bought me was so much fun i really enjoyed doing that and coloring that unicorn picture in so now so my school is done for today and now it's time to play now bye bye